So, the Hebios. These guys are not only a major faction, but they are currently one of the only links between in-game content and the lore. But, before we get into that, a few quick disclaimers. Due to the nature of how we get the lore, this video could be inaccurate or incomplete as soon as the next cosmetic rotation, or it could be perfectly up to date six months down the line. If something major has changed, I'll try to update the description with it. Also, this lore is almost entirely speculation, with all of it up to individual interpretation. What I'll be presenting in this video is my understanding of the theories and concepts, but it is not absolute. Lastly, if you haven't seen my original lore video that goes over the general timeline of the lore, I'd suggest watching that before this video. With that out of the way, who are the Hebios, exactly? Why do they matter? Well, they're currently the only named faction outside of the Kolmui, so even if there was no other lore to them, that's gotta imply some importance. Also, as I said, they're one of the few times something from the lore has been directly visible in the game so far. So. Let's go over everything we know about the Hebios. Firstly, the Hebios themselves are actually supposed to be a creature we can encounter in-game, they just haven't been added yet. As for their role in-game, I would imagine it would probably be the first humanoid weapon-wielding enemy added, but nothing concrete has been said by the devs about their role in-game. Also, the Hebios camps, sometimes known as the bandit camps, aren't actually where they're supposed to be. Their presence in the fields is mostly just a placeholder. I'm pretty sure that the camps are just supposed to be exclusive to the forest, but I haven't been able to find anything concrete to say if that's specifically the case or not. As for their place in the lore and their interactions with other major civilizations, it's almost entirely speculation. That said, we believe them to be one of, if not the only other civilization that the Kalmui interacted with. So. Anything in the timeline that has to do with diplomatic relations between the Kolmui and other civilizations therefore includes the Hebios. Specifically, young peoples of the town visiting surrounding peoples, those peoples sending envoys to the town to warn them of the danger of what the town was doing, and those envoys asking for information about the Kolmui's soul power, all very likely involve the Hebios. Besides those things, what we know of the Hebios is mostly just small tidbits of lore from individual cosmetics descriptions, so let's go over those. We know that some of the Hebios survived the Big Bad and the event. We know that some of the people who went between the Hebios and the Kolmui were forced to choose which group to stand with when the event happened. We can infer from the Tender of the Grasslands outfit that the Kolmui were actually invading the land that once belonged to the Hebios. Lastly, we know there were groups of adventurers trained by the Hebios and shunned by their original people because of it. Beyond that, very little is known. Unfortunately, for at least this video, most of the lore focuses on the Kolmui, the town, and the events in the world, so information on the Hebio specifically is sparse at best. That said, whenever they get implemented into the game, I suspect we'll get a huge batch of lore about them. Well, that's everything we've got about the Hebio so far. If you have a different interpretation or theory about what all of the information we have could mean, or if you have some information that I missed, leave it in the comments section below. Also, if you have a weapon you want me to review in a future episode of Weapon Review, the link to submit that is in the description. But with all that said, I'll see you around.